Yeah, well, I, I know one one little paddock that uh, was all goldenrod weeds and uh, it didn't really have any good grass in it at all. And after we did mob grazing for two years, we, we now we've got uh, a lot of sweet clover coming out there and there's even some uh, some of the warm season grasses that have shown up that we never knew were there. So, so they're basically native warm season grasses that started to seed up? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, we've heard that uh, the seed is there. Yes. You know, and if with the right practices, you will get that seed to grow. So that's, that's what we're, we're going, you know, that's what we're looking for. We, we see a lot of things out there that we didn't, we never seeded it to. And, and cattle, cattle need that that diversified plant. They don't want to just eat that one that one plant out there. I don't want to eat whole wheat bread all my life. I want to I want to have a little bit of peanut butter and jelly as well. Yes, right? exactly, <laughs> exactly. And that's part of the reason we want to get sheep out in our pastures because there's species out there that the cows really won't eat, okay. and, the, and the sheep will. And we don't want to call anything a weed because. It's just that you don't have the right, right livestock out there trying to eat it. So nothing is a weed for you, it's all some kind of food for one of your animals to eat. Food for animals and, and, and it's, you know, it's in the soil. It's, a, it's something growing in the soil and that's what we want to keep. So if we can work it for both, that, yeah, that's, we're, we're working between the soil and the animal. And, and they, they need to help each other out. We got in trouble with our local weed board a year ago. Um, after we had seeded that pasture down, there was a lot of uh, musk thistle that came out. And the guy sent me a letter and said I had to go out there and spray that. I said, well, it's going to kill all that newly seeded legumes. And he said, well, you know, you got to come up with a plan. So our plan this year is I had three high school boys that worked for me and we gave them each a knife and they went out and they cut down all of those uh, thistles and we pretty well cleared up our problem so, okay. uh, without using a herbicide. If it's really bad we'll take our, our 14 foot rotary mower and, okay. and cut it low enough to kill the, the weed but not low, you know, not too low that it, it you know, keep the grass growing. The, the concept that there are microbes in the soil that symbiotically get along with microbes in a cow's gut. How that works, I don't know, but it, it sure seems to work. The benefits are astronomical.